wouldn't say um, emotional. I, you know, it was just one of those nights where uh, one of the greatest players to play the game was making his last stop here. And um, like I said earlier, I was just um, you know grateful and honored to be a part of that. Dan, a lot was working for you tonight. I can't. A lot was working well for you tonight. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I just I played the game simple. I mean, I took what they gave me. I came off screen and rolls hard. Um, I knew coming in that Roy Hibbert liked to play back off of ball screens, and I would have pull-up jumpers. And um, I made the first couple um, early in the game. Mays did a great job um, finding the weak side out of the post. So I hit. I got a couple threes out of that. You know, and once I saw the ball go in that many times in a row, I knew that I was going to uh, be able to get into a get into a good rhythm. And uh, you know, the game just flowed easy. When it's coming real easy offensively for you guys, is it harder to lock in defensively? I mean, I think it's. It's, it's always harder for anybody um, when you you scoring the ball well. Um, you have a tendency to just try to keep outscoring them instead of locking in defensively. And uh, we we had a little bit of that tonight. Um, you know, we came out tough in the first quarter. The second quarter we had a huge drop off, and then we picked it up again in the third. And then the fourth was just okay, but we just um, we played a good offensive game. So I think we you know we played a little bit loose in, in certain situations on defense. Who said that he thought maybe being on the field. Definitely, um, you know, come the last few games, my feet have been sore, um, and we expected that just because of, you know that's that's what it is. And um, uh, the last two days, they you know told me to just stay off my feet, and, uh, rest my feet, and, and things like that. And um, I did, and uh, our training staff they did a great job with all my treatment, and, uh, you know, everything that they've been telling me to do. I've been following what they've said, and um, tonight I, I felt a lot better. What'd you say to Kobe at the end of the game? Um, nothing. He just, you know, he told me it was a pleasure, um, good game, and you know that was pretty much it. Amy, do you think you'll continue to practice throughout the season? Yeah, I mean, I, I'll have to get out there and practice to to stay in shape and to, to stay in, in rhythm and in flow. So um, I will, but I, I'll just have to manage. You know, I can't. When I get in practice, I like to. When we start competing, I play every possession in practice, so I, I have to monitor that. You know, I have to be in and out of drills instead of, you know, standing there the whole time and trying to win and all that stuff. So um, I think that'll be the only thing that changes. What do you think of that? I mean, I loved it. I think it would have been better if it was less Lakers fans in there. Um, you know, they, it seemed like they had as many, almost as many fans as we did tonight. And, um, you know, you expect that when you see the Lakers. You know, my, my four years here, I've, I've noticed that when the Lakers come to town or the Warriors come to town, it's, you know, it's, it's almost a, a neutral site. Is ever a surreal feeling for you, knowing you get to play against Kobe his last season in the NBA? I mean, it, it's always it's always crazy for me, um, you know, because growing up, I, I was a Warriors fan. But when the playoffs came, I was a Lakers fan because we never made the playoffs, and I was – I was on Kobe's back, like, let's go, Kobe, let's go Shaq. And, um, now to be playing against him, um, you know, and to know him is, you know, it's been a pleasure. Favorite memory? Kobe? Um, my favorite memory of Kobe. Yeah. It's probably my 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 rookie year uh, towards the end of the season. They had to uh, win every game to make the playoffs, and we had a lot of hurt guys. And me and him guarded each other for the whole game, and, you know, he – he killed us, but um, you know I had fun um, in that in the battle with him. This is the second time that we that you have had a tournament. What does that mean to you? It means that I'm taking better care of the ball. Um, no. I mean, I, I mean, what does it mean? I, mean, I told I told I told you last week. Um, you know, just getting a better feel for for what defenses are trying to do. Um, being willing to to give it up earlier instead of try to you know hold on to the ball longer, let the next guy make the next play. Um, and like I said before, I just, you know when I'm able to get a ball to Mason, get a ball to Ed and Myers and those guys in the middle, and they constantly make the right play, um, it makes it easier for me to to do it earlier. Um, you know, it makes me trust that that play more, and um, you know, so I can't take all the credit credit for it. Kobe embraces the moves. He likes to be a villain. Is there part of you that kind of would appreciate getting booed in a way arena the way he does? I mean, I think when, especially in the NBA, when you get booed, it's because you probably did something great to that team before. And, um, you know, I think it's a sign of respect. So, I mean, like I said, I was a Lakers fan in the playoffs, and I saw what he did to the Blazers 
plenty of times. So, I mean, I understand, you know, how that can go. And um, when we played the Rockets in the playoffs, the last couple of times we played Dimmy Houston, they booed me, and that's a, that's a sign of respect. Thanks, Dan. How much will you, or how quickly will you start I mean, it's a big game. That's what that's what we should be focused on now. I mean, we we won tonight. We got a couple of days before that game, but I, you know, I'll go home and watch. I'll watch that game tonight when I get home tonight. Um, you know, that's usually what I do. If, if the team that we play next, if they had had a game that night, I'll be up. I'll be up and I'll I'll catch their game. So I'll probably go watch the game. I heard uh, I heard Boogie had a big game tonight. So. You always stay awake. Right? Yeah. You have trouble sleeping? Uh, I don't have trouble sleeping, but it's I'm just I'm just up. Right?